One very interesting feature that we added recently is the, the ability to bubble all the cache, the cacheability metadata for the page cache. So th what that means is that when we are constructing um, a response, we can potentially cache that response and have it served from the, from the page cache. And that means that we get a very fast response time when, whenever we do a subsequent request. The problem is that when we change something, we so, so imagine that uh, we selected node one and I'm gonna get that, that request. So if we select this, this is node one, we want that cache version of this page, of this URL, to change if we edit the node one. So in order to do that, we are sending we are sending to the request all the necessary cache tags and cache contacts to to cache this in a, in the smart way that Drupal 8 allows us to to do it. So uh, by doing that, whenever node one changes, this response will be invalidated and it will be computed again instead of served by cache. So um, another interesting thing that we added is that since we uh, can potentially include more entities, like uh, let's do an include of the author using include U U UID, sorry, we'll see in the response headers here that we are bubbling the user 12 because that's the user in the in the response and that is because if you go down here you'll see that we have this payload so imagine that uh, we change the name of this this payload would be invalid and the cache uh, would not represent the latest data in the site so uh, that's what we why we do this and of course this works as well for collections. So in here, I'm producing a collection of three nodes and two users. And we should see here that we have three nodes and two users and additionally the node list because uh, this response gets invalidated if we add a new node because instead of three results, we should get a fourth. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. It integrates with, um, with the caching system in Drupal 8, even with the complex includes.